everyone, it's Tammy with Wings of All the Treasures, back with another video. I hope everybody's doing well today, and had a wonderful holiday. If you celebrated Easter or any other holiday you celebrated recently, I hope everybody had a wonderful time. Um, I'm going to show you what I had here. There were some with names, so I wanted to show you that. And we're going to be doing the second half of the first New Jersey box. Okay, so we'll get through that. And then when we're done with both New Jersey box, I've been working on a sterling silver video. Now, people have been asking me to do one. I know some people want rings and uh, necklaces and things and chains. So I've been working on that and I'll get that done after we finish both of the New Jersey boxes. Okay. And I did separate everything over here so it'll be easier to go through because it was very tangled at the end. All right. Let's see. Oh, I wanted to show you this one. I couldn't figure out what it was. What is Edwin Pearl? Yeah. It's an Edwin Pearl bracelet. These are most of the time very pricey. But I found this one for a pretty good price. It was Oh, I didn't write down because I wasn't giving prices anymore. But it was a fairly good price. Yeah, I think it was $30 actually. Because a lot of his stuff is very expensive. Okay. I'll give you a price on this one because it's Edwin Pearl. I mean, yeah. So, anyway. Um, this is missing a stone. Some of my subscribers told me was missing a pink stone and I can't find it guys if you could tell me where it is I would find one and glue it in I thought they said pink but I don't see one missing they're all there so unless I'm just blind <laughs> I don't know okay but this one was uh, a decent price. It wasn't too much. It was uh, $24. Okay. And this was, this was, this is Labradorite. Okay. The one, the stone I'm thinking of is, starts with an L. Lavinkite, Lavinite, I don't know. If anybody knows, put it in the comments. Um, but that is definitely Lavinite. Okay, I had a, a ring on last time, and this one, and this is a Lavinite, and I don't know what I said it was. I thought I said it was a Lavinite. But yeah, this is the Labradorite Sterling Silver Ring. So if I said it was something different, I apologize. Okay. Oh, we want to see my rings first. This one actually is not coral. This is Copper Turquoise. Okay. And Sterling Silver. This one is a Sandy Ring. Yeah, Turquoise and Amber. Sterling Silver. This one is a flower obsidian. And this one is another sandy piece, turquoise. And this one is sterling silver CZ. I just stuck it on. I liked it. Okay. This one was sterling. And there is a mark right here. It took me a while to find it. But yeah, this is this one. With the sand dollar is sterling. Okay. All right. What is this? Oh, it's just a little bead. Okay. This one I couldn't find anywhere. But I think it's so cool. Almost looks like somebody made it. But I don't know. It does look like someone made it though. So that might be the reason I can't find it anywhere. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty. This is probably the cheapest uh, Coldwater Creek necklace that I've ever found. This was 28 Yeah. Now, those are the prices that I find them online for. I do not sell them for that price. 
Okay. I have to say that every time because people don't understand. All right. This one. What was this one? This. This is a Carol Lee. This one was very expensive. I won't give you a price on this one. If anybody wants it, just email me. Um, but this one was fairly expensive for a Carolee. Yeah, and it's in excellent condition. It looks brand new. It really does. It's a really awesome piece. So, mm -hmm. very beautiful. All right. Oh, sorry. <coughs> <laughs> you have to excuse me. I still have my cough. Still. I mean, when is this cough ever going to go away? <laughs> okay, we have a fringe. This is called... This is called... Where is it? A waterfall fringe necklace. And this one was 54. Yeah. Very cool. And it's just silver tone. Yeah. Here's the clasp. Very cool. I have a couple of these actually. Not exactly like this, but this style. Yeah. Vintage pieces. Okay. What was this one? This one was... I can't remember. Bert? Was this Sterling? Might have been sterling. Yeah, I forget. I'm going to look at that again. I forgot already. I didn't write it down. This one is uh, Ralph Lauren. And I didn't write this down either. But it is... Oh, yeah, I did. $20. $20 for that one. And this is beautiful. This does look like brand new. Mm -hmm. But that's not what I will sell it for. <laughs> okay. That's all. Let's uh, get cracking. See what we can find. I'm going to show you all the necklaces and, and bracelets first and stuff. And then we'll go through the earrings. Okay? All right. This is a beautiful necklace. I pulled this out. I was like, oh my gosh. I, I'll have to check and see if all the stones are there. But this one is a Talbot's. Yeah, it's just beautiful. My hands I put lotion on and they're very greasy well the bag balm I've been using that bag balm I don't know if y'all know about it yeah this is beautiful isn't that gorgeous and these are glass they're all glass yeah or metal silver tone but it is amazing yeah very, very nice. I am going to look that up because I'm just curious with the Talbot's signature there, what it is. And then I found another statement necklace. And this one is going to go in the crap lot. Okay, because the chain is in very bad shape. So, crap lot with you. See, the chain is just really bad. Okay. And it didn't have a signature or anything on it, so... I can't sell that like that. It looks terrible. This is pretty too. Look at this one. These are acrylic. I'm not sure if these are acrylic or glass. I believe that they're glass. I'll have to look at it better. Look at this chain. It's gorgeous. It does have a tag on it. And it says... I don't know. I'll have to look at it closer. I'll show you the necklace first. But look how pretty that is. It's like a frosted color on those, these balls. It's just beautiful. With the gold tone chain. Rosary link. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Look at this. Beautiful. It's heavy. That's why I think that these are, yeah, glass. Yeah, they're glass. They're all glass. Mm-hmm. I mean, not extremely heavy, but... Okay, let me see what this says. What brand that is. Charter Club. 
Charter Club. Yeah, I've had some of their pieces before. I'm going to look that one up too. I'm just curious. Well, I usually look them all up, especially if y'all want them. <laughs> but um, the ones I'm really interested in, I put back there. Okay, now these are acrylic, sea bead, and lobster claw clasp. Oh, that's pretty. This is glass. Yeah, that's beautiful. I like how they have the bronze in the chain with the bronze in the glass. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, and I did take everything out of the box this time. I didn't forget. Okay, this one's pretty. This is a necklace and let's see. This is uh 2028. Yeah, it goes this way. And it's silver tone with these huge glass rhinestones. That is beautiful. Look how the light catches it. The sparkle in it. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Yeah. So in great condition, the chain, the rhinestones, everything. Just beautiful. Okay. Oh, maybe I'll look that one up too. I like to look up the name brands. Okay, then we have another necklace. This is gold tone. This is a Napier. Oh. Napier. Okay, lobster claw clasp. This looks brand new too. These vintage necklaces just hold up so well. And it's got um, uh, stations, these little stations that go along. Mm -hmm. I'll show you the length. It's a very nice length. And, yeah, the gold tone. I mean, just hung up, held up so well. Look at these little twisted rectangles. Just beautiful. Got some really nice stuff in here I'm very excited about. <laughs> then we have a little cupcake. Look at the cupcake. It's missing a rhinestone, is it? No. No. I may give this to my granddaughter. Look. How cute. It's got a little bow, and I think it's a Claire's. Is it Claire's? Or made? No, it doesn't say. It's just a heart. Okay, it's just a little cupcake. All right. Yeah, I think I'm going to give that to my granddaughter. I'm going to put that over here. I'll have to shorten the chain for her. And then this is pretty. This is sterling with a stone. Adventuring, maybe. I'm not sure. If anybody knows, let us all know. I can look it up, but isn't that cute little toggle here with the stone? Yeah, sterling silver. It's green. It's like marbled green. Almost looks like marble, but it's definitely not marble. But it's a beautiful chain, real low chain. You know, with the toggle clasp. I'd like the toggle in the front. This way. Like that. Yeah. Okay. So, I will look this one up. It says it right here on the back. 925 China. Okay. And then, we have another necklace. It's a, I love you to the moon and back. I used to say this to my granddaughter all the time. The moon goes through there. And then, oops. Well, it's definitely for a smaller person because it's tiny. Yeah, it's like a little choker for a child. Okay. So cute. I'm going to give that to my granddaughter. So, very nice. Love you to the moon and back. And she was little. And she'd say, I love you to the moon and back. To the moon again and back. <laughs> this is silver tone. Just a little silver tone station chain. It's 
Got little stations on it. Okay. And it has a long extender, which is nice, with a lobster claw clasp. So, I always think I have something on my finger, but it's a blood vessel. <laughs> Every time I do a video, I'm, oh, I dropped something. Hold on. Oh, a chain. I can't pick it up. Okay. Yeah, it's just a chain. Let's see. Just a gold tone chain with a spring ring clasp. It's got a little knot in it right here. Just saw that. Okay. And so, just a gold tone chain. But, you know, it's nice to have gold tone chains because always needing a chain for something or another. But if anybody needs one, it's a nice dainty one. Okay. I'll have to get that knot out. <laughs> okay, then I found a, another necklace with a K on it. And I believe it's... No. It's a pretty K, but it's missing a rhinestone. And that is the initial of my oldest granddaughter. That's her initial of her first name. So, I think this chain is sterling, though. It feels like sterling. Okay, let's see. I can't see what's right there. Yeah, it is marked. Let me look at it. Yes, 925. So, the chain is sterling. The K is not. So y'all always look at the chains or the pendants because a lot of people, if they want to wear a pendant, they'll just grab any chain they want. And if either one is sterling or silver tone, you know, they don't care as long as it is a chain or a pendant that matches. So and sometimes I've found ones that it's a gold chain or a silver tone chain. It's, Silver tone chain with a gold pendant or something, you know. So, make sure you check them all. So, but that's missing a stone. And this is a long chain. I may fix the pendant for her and get her a different chain. Because this would be too long anyway for her. Yeah, because it's a pretty, a pretty K. All right. Kind of looks like a JK, doesn't it? J, K, or J, H. I don't know. <laughs> okay, then found another little necklace. And this has knots on both sides. It says, I love mustaches. It's a locket. Let's see if we can't get the locket open. It's enamel on the top, which I just love. Okay, I don't want to poke myself, but I can't get it open. Hmm. Oh, there we go. I did it. Oh, because it can't... No, it's from the side. Okay. So it's a little locket. Gold tone. Okay, with a gold tone chain. Let's see, it goes this way. Yeah, it does have a, a little knot there. All right. Okay. And then we have another chain. And this one is, it feels like stainless. Is it stainless? No, it's picking up. So it's not stainless, but it feels like stainless. This one's a long one. Let me show you what it looks like first. Okay. Very pretty. And this one's long. So if you need a long chain, let me know. Mm -hmm. And it's very nice. It's in great condition. 
All right. And I sell a lot of these chains. You'd be surprised. Okay, then we have a gold tone necklace with a pendant. And this is... This Talbot's too. I think this is also Talbot's. Let me look at it real quick. No, this is J. Crew. Beautiful chain, gold tone, and this is the pendant. I'll show you the pendant first, and I'll show you the length. I have it on backwards, yes. And this chain is heavy. I mean, it's really nice. We could use it for other stuff. Okay, that is the pendant. I don't even know if the pendant goes with it, but yeah, certainly it does. It's heavy. It's nice. Okay. And then here's the length. Yeah, very pretty. J. Crew. It goes like that. Okay, beautiful chain. I'm going to look that one up too. That's a different one. I don't think I've seen one even similar to that in J. Crew. Hmm. Okay, then we have this beautiful one. Oh, now I looked a bunch of these up, and a lot of these said Leah Sophia, but they're all different, all different makers. Oh, it did, it had Leah Sophia on it. And this is a nice station necklace, it's heavy. It's in made very well quality. Yeah, it's very pretty. But you could also double it. Let me show you the pieces. That's a beautiful glass. Look at the their their set prong set. Here's another one. They're all clear. And look at this one. Isn't that pretty? Just say they were diamonds, nobody would know. <laughs> oh, we could triple it. Nice. Triple it up. There's a clasp. Or double it. Or you could just wear it long. Yeah. That's beautiful. Just beautiful. Because these right here do like like look like diamonds. <gasps> and the circles. Wow, that's very pretty. Mm-hmm. And like I said, the chain is an excellent, it's heavy. It's, it feels like quality made. Yeah. Love that. Love it. Okay. And then we had this one and I wanted to show you to you last because I have never found a juicy couture in white. Never. Yeah. This was very expensive. I went ahead and looked it up because I was so excited about it. When I saw it, I'm like, I've got to look this one up. Juicy Couture. Beautiful. I'm going to make this my thumbnail. So let's, let's make it look pretty. Okay. There we go. Click. So my son can get it. He's always saying, hold it still for a minute, Mom, so I can get it. I think he's going to teach me how to do my own videos so that I can do them here. Um, because he has just been so busy. We haven't been able to get them out like we normally do. It's, you know, once a week or whatnot. So, um, yeah, he's going to try and teach me. I said, as long as you write everything down step by step about what, how I'm supposed to do it. <laughs> See, it's funny. Okay, these are odds and ends. And, oh, I found these. I'm going to show you these first. Look at these gorgeous earrings. These are sterling. Amethyst. And I don't know what the green stone is. Look, that one's got a little orange in there. But I'll find out. Aren't those pretty? Sterling earrings. Oh my gosh. Artisan made. Just beautiful. Yeah. So, I'll have to... Uh, the sterling, I think, is on the hook. I saw it picking it up. I don't know, maybe not. But they are sterling, I can just tell. Okay, so I will test those and look them up. Very nice. All right. I don't know why earrings are over here. Oh, this is pretty. Stretch bracelet. 
AB coating, kind of a gray with the peacock colors. Okay. And then, oh, that went to an earring, which the back is broken. So if I find the other one, I'll put these in a craft lot. I'll just put it back there. Then this is a fold over clasp bracelet, gold, antique gold tone. Look at this one. Oh, look how pretty that is. I think these are all, yeah, they're all glass rhinestones. Isn't that beautiful? This would be pretty for Christmas because you got the red and the green and then the red and the green. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to look this one up too. I'm just curious. Let's see if there's any maker's marks. Don't see any maker's marks. Let me open the clasp. Oh, wrong way. Nope. Nothing. But it's pretty. Okay. I'll look it up and see if I can't find out who made it. All right. And this is beautiful. Yeah. It is just it's cold. It's real silky. It's just beautiful. Stretch is excellent. Wow. Amethyst. Just gorgeous. Amethyst bracelet. I'm going to wear it. It's so pretty. <gasps> Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Then we have the rest of these. And these are the earrings. And we'll match up what we have back here. Let me spread these out so I know what we have. Okay, there we go. Oh, look. Here's this one. Okay, this is just uh, acrylic on silver tone. So I'm going to put these in a craft lot. And go with that necklace. Okay, let's get the rest of these. Got some backs. Oh, some rings too. Some rings. Some more backs. We have a lot of backs. We'll just put those over here, actually. Because I always check for sterling or gold on backs. Not this kind, but the other ones. Okay. We have a ring. Let's look at the ring first. Oh, nice. Kind of looks like my wedding band from the early 90s. <laughs> okay, is it plated? I bet you it's gold electroplated. Let's see what size it is first. It is a five and a fourth. Okay, channeled, probably CZ uh, set. Yeah, it says something. Let's see. Well, it's in the crease. I can't read it. Yeah, I don't know. This could be a costume ring. Yeah. Costume ring. Very pretty, though. Okay. Put that in there. All right, let's see. I did find, see this one. I believe these are silver tone. No, they're 925. Wow, look. 925. Okay, and, and that's uh gorgeous. Look how pretty those are. Wow, probably onyx. Those are nice. All right, I'll test them. Hoping they would have a name. Oh, here. No, they just both say 925. So I'll test those with the other ones. I think this is for a watch. Okay. We don't have, I always get these, but we don't have the watch. So that's going in craft lot. Oh, two purple earrings. These feel like uh, resin. Little roses, posts. All right, and then this one I saw over here. 
Yes, these are oval hoops, gold tone, heavy, nice condition, very nice ones. I'm surprised they don't have a name on them, like Monet or something, but I don't see a name. No. Okay, but they're very nice and heavy. I mean, for, you know, earrings, it's gold tone. Oh, we have another one. We'll put that one in craft two. Oh, we have this one. Look, rose gold post door knockers, but they don't move. Earrings. Very nice. Here's the back. And I don't see a name on these either. No. Very pretty. Okay, what color are these? Oh, purple. Rhinestone earrings, Revoli style. See the points? Okay. And these are silver tone. Oh, oh my gosh, we found the piece to this necklace. I already found one piece. I found this piece and one of these is missing. Oh no, two of these. Okay. I don't think I'm going to find all the pieces. I'm going to put this in a craft lot if I don't find the other red one in here. Okay, this, this necklace will go in the craft lot. But I did find this piece is in there, and I found one of these. So, whoever gets it, maybe you can do something different with it. All right? Because I don't see the other pieces, so I'm just going to stick it in the craft lot. Yeah, okay, we have both of these. And these are acrylic. Purple. There's the hook. I'm looking for the ones in the back <gasps> because I'd like to get those matched up, but I don't see them. Oh, wait, this one. This is the only one I see. Crystal dangles, pink, different pinks, crystal earrings. We have both of those. I don't think these hooks are sterling. Oh, you know what? I bet you they are. I don't see a mark on them, though. I can't imagine them being copper with... Well, they could be copper with silver tone over them. Yeah, that's exactly what they are. Copper. Okay, but they're pretty. Little crystal, pink crystals. Oh, speaking of pink, look at that. Oh, beautiful rhinestones. Wow. You guys, it broke off of something. Oh, you could make that a ring. Oh, that would be a beautiful ring. Let's see. Make it this way. Yeah, that would make a gorgeous ring. You can even do it this way so it's long ways. Oh, that's so pretty. See, it broke off right in the middle. Okay. It's back there. Okay, then we have two hoops, silver tone, hammered. They need to be wiped down. Did we see any maker marks on these? Nope, but they're in great condition besides just maybe be wiped off. They're, they're nice. They're not chintzy at all. Okay, let's make sure they don't pick up. There's any markings. Nope, they're copper. Okay, with silver tone on top. Oh, look at these. These are, uh, they look like fish. Yeah, they're earrings, but they look like fish. Look how cute those are. Okay, some of these are, nope, uh, sterling. So be careful. Always check them. Okay. So, oh, we have a ring. It's missing a stone. You can size it. I'm going to put that. I bet that's what that was. Because, look, this one looks like the ring. Like the back, see? I bet this was a ring. I wonder if we find the piece in here. This, this piece. Maybe I found it already. I don't remember. Okay, that's going in craft. Oh, I love these. These are cute. 
Yeah, got both of those. They dangle. Okay, let's check them. Okay, they don't pick up. Let's rub them. Nope, copper underneath. They're so cute though. I like those. Okay. Oh, we have these, and these are gold tone, I mean, silver tone. They are not in great shape. Yeah, they're going to the crap lot. Mm -hmm. That silver part is wearing off. So, and they're real heavy. I could tell they were nice at one time. Okay, I don't believe we have this one. This looks like uh, bone and amethyst, I mean amethyst, onyx and sterling. Yeah. Reminds me of tribal necklace, uh, earrings. So maybe it's in the other box. So I'll keep those back there after I get rid of all these. We gotta get these three and that's it. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, we got these two. These are cubes and they're pink. Little pink cubes, posts. Okay, and then we have, oh, look at the little brooch. Aw, it has a religious medallion at the bottom and it's a flower with a little blue flower in it. And it is a brooch. And I don't see any names on it. St. M, it says. Yeah. I just saw one of these the other day. I forget what they're called. I'm going to look them up. There's a name for the ones like that with the uh, religious medallions at the bottom. Okay, these are clear. Those are cubes. I just want to take them off all these off of here and play with them. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> They're glass. They're, those are all glass. Okay, we got a bit and a piece, and that was a bone. Oh, look, this goes with that necklace. Yeah. So we got earrings to match the necklace. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, put that back there. All these have uh, ladybugs on them. Silver tone ladybug earrings. They dangle. Oh, I didn't look. Nope, no name. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, we have this one. Gold tone. This one's a door knocker. It does move, but we don't have the other one. And I don't see a maker's mark. No. And we don't have this one. This one is a hoop. Inside's very dirty. All right. And then we don't have this one. Filigree. Little hoop. Gold tone. And we don't have this one. Silver tone. Faux pearl. And we don't have this one. But I'm going to put them back there because they might be in the other box. These are real stones. Yeah. On um, gold thread. Yeah, very pretty. Okay. But I'm going to put them back here so we can find them in the next box. Because New Jersey is really good about um, matching their earrings up. I'll put them here in the middle. So when we get earrings, we can put them over here. Okay. There we go. And then we have these. Oh, look at these. Chains and rhinestones. Gunmetal. Yep, they dangle. I think these chains are... Are they supposed to be like that? Yeah. They're connected in the back like that. Okay. I thought maybe they were twisted around it. Okay, then we have a gold, I'm not sure if it's gold tone, real gold. Let's see, easy way to check. Uh-huh, gold tone. Hoop earring, but it's very pretty. Yeah. 
I wear these small ones so I can sleep in them. All right. So that's it, guys. That's all we have. Well, um, I'll start the next box in the next video. And hopefully it won't be too long. I'm going to actually try to do the video later tonight. So I'll have two done. So I just give him both of them and then he can put them up as he pleases. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Look at this bracelet. It's so beautiful. Um, and I will see you on the next one. Take care, y'all. Mwah!